Hey guys, welcome back to Kathy Rain, Director's Cut. We finally got Lenny to go into the um, into this room, whatever it was called, I forgot. And we are about to have a look at his desk to get the key, so we can actually okay, let's find the unlock. key to locker number five. Exactly, we want to unlock locker got number it. five. Yeah, we got it. And now Lenny is going to come out. Can we just re-enter, or do we have to go through that ordeal Time of? Time to waste more coffee, I guess. Oh, okay, she does it herself. Nice. Lenny, coffee. Jeez, Louise, already? I'll take care of it, boss. Duh. Okay, that poor plant. That poor, poor plant. Okay, we have re-entered. What happens if we talk to the bum in the cell once again? Hey. Hi there. Hmm. Okay, we have. Okay, uh, gotta go. See ya. So I just wanted to thank him, but apparently we can't. But that is okay. Let's have a look here. So this is. This the should open the evidence locker with the tape recorder. And can we also use it for something else? No, this key opens one of the small lockers. Okay, if that's the case. All right, got it. Mm hmm. Okay. So let's play. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses, a blue violet, and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with everything that's been going on lately. Okay. With Sharon and Kathy. Anyway, I'm getting close to finding the source. I have a promising new theory. It should be ready for a test soon. What? Okay, let's leave. That's weird. That's really weird. Okay. Okay, still making coffee. Didn't even notice that we were gone. Okay, let's talk to Lenny for a second. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Okay, first of all... I don't want to show him that. Oh, okay, I thought about sure. that. Sure, I'll show him the police report I stole from under his nose. That's a great idea. Unfortunate. Okay, but we can talk about the yeah, attic. I don't want to ask him about that. Okay, we can't even do that. Well, gotta go. See ya. Okay, I'm not going to talk to the sheriff because I don't like him. We are just going to go to the attic, it seems. Can we now select something else? No, we can't. Okay, let's go to Grandma's place then. We can go up the attic immediately, but I want to talk to Grandma first. Because apparently... There is some stuff going on, and maybe she knows more. Oh, yeah. Hi there. Let's talk. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Hmm. We're gonna start with the police report. I got report. the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Okay, and the dictaphone. Hey, Grandma. Do you recognize this tape recorder? Oh yes, Mr. Dicto. Joseph used to carry that thing with him everywhere. He could be absent-minded at times. It helped him remember things. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the attic, then. Would you mind if I took a look in the attic? I suppose it would do no harm. Come with me. Thanks, Grandma. You are welcome, dear. Be careful now. Hmm. Okay. Snooping around in an attic. All right, so I guess we will have to use the light switch first. Nothing. The bulb must be burned out. In okay, that's not good. The bulb looks burned out. I'll have to replace it. We don't have anything right now that helps though, right? Zipper light, uh, please report. The dictaphone, I don't think that... Uh, no. No, no that won't help. 
Hmm. Okay, so let's go downstairs then because we can't interact with anything in the attic right now. And there is nothing that actually helps. Ah, wait. Not a horrible idea, but I can't reach it. Besides, that light bulb looks like it wouldn't fit. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's go in there and maybe ask Grandma. Maybe we'll some uh, find something else oh, entirely. Oh, hello, dear. Oh, she's so nice all the time. Hmm, nothing in here that we can use, apparently. There are very well. Okay. The lights are out in the attic. Oh, well, there should be a whole box of light bulbs around here somewhere. Do you remember where? Now, where did I put it? Oh, dear, I think it's in the attic. Oh, <laughs> great. That's just terrific. I'm sure you'll figure it out, dear. Okay, so that well, means... Gotta go grab Bye, cat. That means we will just have to look around the attic first. And then we can actually have a look around. So if we do this, what happens if we... My trusty Zippo. The only thing my deadbeat dad left me. There's a crude inscription, B. Yeah, that's cool and stuff, but... I'm trying to cut down. But I just I'm wanna... trying to... Hmm... So that means we will have to... What are we supposed to do then? Because... Can't make out anything here without a light. Hmm... That's really weird. Hmm... Hmm, okay. Wait, this? What about this? Free light bulb. Score! Oh, okay, it was like... It was easier than we thought. Okay, cool, we got one. So let's go upstairs again. And use the light bulb here. There we go. And now we can switch. And here we are. Hmm. Mr. Bear! Oh, how did you get all the way up there? Good idea. You just keep watch. I'll do the searching. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Mr. Bear, reporting for duty. We got an achievement for that, too, which is cool. Okay, the metal detector. An electronic metal detector. Kind of clunky for a person to lug around without a specific use for it. Hmm. An industrial-sized jug of detergent. Various books and office supplies. Nothing in particular catches the eye. Mm-hmm. The coffee cup. Decades-old coffee. Lovely. Hmm. This briefcase stands out, right? Oh, we need a coat, though. Okay, it's locked. Nope, that's not it. Okay, huh. We don't have a code yet. Hmm, okay, let's a have a worn one. office chair on wheels. I'm feeling a sudden urge to do a race. <laughs> okay, let's open this drawer then first. Let's see what's inside. Empty. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we know that at least. And this one? Empty. Mm-hmm. Both drawers empty. Huh, let's have a look at this it diagram. It looks like someone was doing geometry. I can't make much sense of it. That is weird. Just some old bills. Nothing interesting. Okay, so... What about the... Typewriter. An old typewriter covered in cobwebs. A thick book about math. That's weird. The Secrets of Infinite Numbers by Arthur P. Gibbons. 
Huh, pie. Three point blah blah blah. Huh. Fibonacci numbers. Okay. And the red one. Prime numbers. Two, three, five, seven. Eleven, thirteen, seventeen, huh? Isn't that the same as the Fibonacci one? No, it's not. Hmm. That is weird. Does that have something to do with the briefcase? Hmm. I'm having a hard time following that logic. Does it have something to do with this? Is it three, one, four, one? So these are six digits, right? And these are six digits, so let's give that a try. It's three, one, okay. Three, one, four, one, five, nine. Three, one, four, one, five, nine. Three, one, four, one, five, nine. Nine. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Hmm. I doubt the book alone is enough to solve this. Okay. At least we know that now. So let's go downstairs and talk to Grandma what we are actually supposed to do. Oh. Okay, let's talk, Grandma. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Hmm. I found a locked briefcase in the attic. Do you know anything about it? Oh, that old thing? Joseph said there were just some old boring Air Force papers in there. If that was the case, why use an intricate combination lock? That's a very good question, dear. In any case, I wouldn't know how to open it. Hmm. I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes. I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. He was always fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. Hmm. Hey, Grandma. Do you oh, he could be... Hmm. I got the dictaphone already. Okay. See you later, Graham. Take care. If that is the case... There has to be some way of figuring out the code. I'm sure both the math book and the first message on the tape have something to do with it. Hmm, if that is the case, dear Kathy... Come on, play. Oh, we have to rewind first. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. A little bit annoying. Note to self. Remember the perfect bouquet consists of three red roses. A blue violet and two yellow tulips. Three I've red roses. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to worry. She has enough to think about with with Sha anyway. I'm getting high up. Yeah, okay, okay. What was it again? Note to self. Remember the three red. Consists of three one red blue, roses, two yellow. A blue violet and two yellow tulips. I've been working on my research in the attic at night. I just don't want her to work with Shan anyway. I'm getting high up. Okay, just to be sure, I'm sorry, you can jump ahead if you if you want to, of course. Note to self. Three I red, one blue, two yellow. I've been working I just with Three red, I'm getting high up. Two yellow. Three red. Can we also just combine these? Wait, uh Uh no. Okay, that would have been too easy. So three red. Three red. Does that mean five? Two yellow. No, one. Hmm, three red. One blue and two yellow. One blue. So it's just one. Five, one, three red. Is it two, three, five, one, three, one then? 
Huh. Is could that be the case? Just to be sure. Two, three, five. One. Three, one. Okay, let's give that a try then. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's go upstairs then. And give that a try. Two, three, five, one, three, one. Two, three, one, one, three, one. I must be missing something. What was that weird first message on the tape? Wait, what am I what am I talking about? It's five. Yes. Okay, 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 we got it. Ooh, okay. Is that all the envelope? Okay. Let's take it. And let's have a look at that envelope, of course. Let's see what's in here. There were two pictures, a newspaper clipping, a key, and a tape inside. Oh, and a single copper penny, too, for some reason. Weird. Very weird. Okay. Wait, can we also just... Okay, we have done that now. Uh... Looks overexposed. I can't make much out. I think I see trees in the background, but most of the picture is just bright white. Can There's we... probably some way to enhance this back at school. I'll figure it out tomorrow when I'm back. Okay. Grandpa in uniform with two other men. Something is handwritten on the back. Flight training. McConnell Air Force Base, 1941. Mm-hmm. Tragic drowning in Conwell Springs. In early morning on Sunday the 14th, a teenage girl found dead near Conwell Lake. The girl is survived by her mother, father, and younger brother. The funeral service will be held at Conwell Cemetery on the 21st of July. The notice is dated July 15th, 1975. Tragic story. I wonder why Grandpa saved this. Okay, that is why we need to go back to the cemetery and look that Tragic up. Tragic in early morning on the girl is survived by her mother, father, and the notice is dated July 15th, okay, 1975. 15th, 19, either 15th or 14th. It's a small key, fairly modern design, no identifying tag, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. It's the penny I found in the briefcase. Looks like it was minted the same year I was born. Grandpa and me, we had this game where he would hide pennies around the house and I would go on a treasure hunt. Never in the attic, though. I thought it was too scary up there. Hmm. Can we do something else here? What we can definitely can do is go to Grandma and talk all about, uh, about all of this stuff. But before we do that... You've reached the rain, residence. Leave a message after the beep. Hello, Joseph, Mrs. Rain. It's me, Charles. I thought I'd give you a call. Erica just had her firstborn. It's a boy. Thankfully, he looks nothing like his father. Uh, listen, I was thinking maybe you'd like to come and visit. And what about your little Kathy? Maybe she wants to see the baby. Well, anyways, I hope to see you soon. All the best. Bye. You people make me sick. We're never coming back. Don't call, don't write. If you ever try to contact us, I will call the police. Joseph, you there? It's me, Cocky. I... It happened to me too. You're the only one I trust now. Just call me back as soon as you can. Hmm. hmm. I wonder who this cocky is. Interesting. I'm just rewinding. I'm not going to listen to that once again. I guess it's time to ask Grandma some more 
questions. Oh. All right, Grandma. Let's talk once again. There are a few things I need to ask you, Grandma. Very well, dear. Hmm. We gonna start with. Hey, Grandma. Do you? Oh, he yeah. Could... We had that already. Oh, no, we had that one he was... too. Oh, he was... I'm sorry, but. Grams, can you tell me anything about this picture? It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, you say? Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness, I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. Charles Wade, huh? Mm hmm. Do you know anything about this story, Grandma? Not much, dear. It was the saddest thing. The girl was only 16 years old. We never really knew the family. They preferred to keep to themselves. Do you remember their names? Mm, let me think. I'm awfully sorry, dear. I just can't recall. That's quite all right, Grandma. I was just wondering why Grandpa would have wanted to save this. Joseph was always deeply affected by the tragedy of others. Perhaps he wanted to do something for the family to ease their pain. Hmm. In any case, he didn't speak to me about it. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Do you recognize this key, Grandma? I found it in the attic. I'm afraid not, dear. Does this coin mean anything to you, Grandma? I'm afraid not, dear. Hmm, okay. Can you tell me anything about McConnell Air Force Base? It's not very far from Conwell Springs. Joseph was stationed there for some time during the war. I believe they're still training young pilots there today. So, when did Grandpa enlist in the Air Force? Oh, it was barely past the honeymoon when Joseph left to fight in that terrible war, together with his best friend Charles and my brother Andrew. Those were nerve-wracking years. I was so worried I thought I would burst. Every short visit from Joseph was a joy, but he kept going back to the front, to my great dismay. When I told Joseph about being pregnant with your father, he finally realized that enough was enough. He had done his duty. Shortly thereafter, he returned to a quiet farmer's life in this very house, helping your great-grandfather with the crops until he passed. Mm -hmm. Does the nickname Cocky mean anything to you? Sounds vaguely familiar. It reminds me of the aviator call signs Joseph and his friends gave one another. Joseph was vigilante. I can't count the number of times he got into trouble for breaking the rules. To this day, I have no idea how he always managed to land on his feet. <laughs> <laughs> Must be hereditary, given the things I've gotten away with. Every time I wake up, I am genuinely surprised that I'm not in jail. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that bad, dear. But to get back to the subject, you don't have any idea of who this cocky is? I'm afraid not, but the Air Force might be a good place to start. Mm-hmm. What can you tell me about Charles Wade? Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't seen him for years. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, uh, not that I know of. Hmm. Okay, so... See you later, Grams. Take care, dear. Didn't get too much information there, but I feel like we have to go... Hmm... 
Okay, before we do anything, let's go to this phone book. And we are going to look for this. All right, got it. Nice, and of course... Damn, no Charles Wade in here. Was worth a hmm. shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. I should try to get a hold of him some other way. Interesting, okay, so we know that. But guys, I just realized we have hit the end of the episode mark. Uh, if you want to know what else is going on and... Uh, what is going to happen in the cemetery, which we are going to hit next? You'll have to tune in next time for Kathy Rain. See you then.